viewers welcome to another video of smilling tutorial today's video is about two queries that i had in comment section so we are going to see how to solve them the first one is how to keep counting continuously using this counter and the second one is that this counter configuration or this uh, model using uh, delay blocks that doesn't work uh, it gives an error uh, I guess I had missed this point uh, what settings we need to do while using delay block so I'll tell you how to do it so first of all I'll just quickly go through this model I'll explain so first input is the constant that is one it will be added to the output of this delay block the output of this delay block is the final output that we are going to see on the scope so what happens here in this part uh, when the adder output when it is greater than or equal to 5 then the output of this switch block will be 0 that is it will reset and it will again count from 1 and when uh, the input is less than 5 that is between that is when it is 1 to 4 it will give you the output of this adder block as it is so again this output of this switch block is given to this another switch block that uh, and the input <coughs> and the input that is driving this switch block is the repeating sequence there let's see what it is it is two ones and then stream of zeros again one and then stream of zeros okay so when my input to this switch block when it is greater than or equal to one the output of this switch block that is the counter output it will be passed as it is to the scope and when it is less than one that is when it is zero the output of this switch block will be zero that is my counter won't work in that case so this is like an enable condition for the counter so when it is one then only the output of the counter will be passed to the scope why now the question is why i have given this delay block from the second switch block why not from the first switch block what will happen if i what will happen if i connect this delay block here and to its input the and the input to this delay block is from the output of this first switch block what happens in this scenario is that when there are two ones then the output will be one and two and when again the stream of zeros and when the next one comes whatever is the output of this counter it might be three four whatever it is it will be displayed on the scope it won't be seen as counter from one to some specific values it will be directly to three so in that case it won't be a counter so to make this design as a counter when this enable is one then only it should count and and after the stream of zeros the first encounter of one will only enable this counting configuration and the output will be from one to whatever value till it counts so let's simulate this model you can see here one two and it is again just one okay now instead of zeros i'll just give the stream of ones save the model simulate it auto scale you can see here it is counting from 1 to 4 coming back 0 and again 1 to 4 
so so that is what you need to keep your counter running continuously that is an enable condition when the enable conditions are satisfied that is it's like enable condition for this design so when it, when only it is one then the counter will run when it is zero the counter won't run it will give you output as zero now why this design simulated properly and gave us the output the reason is in configuration parameters click this option you'll see here in solver options i have kept type as fixed type and solver as discrete now let's make this as variable step okay let's make it discrete here since it was discrete in fixed step case okay save simulate this time you get an error this is the reason why you get an error because the model is running using variable step solver which is not a real time solver and when you add a delay block to your design it makes your system discrete and it needs model to run in fixed step and not variable step variable step solver can take variable steps to simulate the model and to get output or the transition of outputs at exact time where transitions occurred so it takes different steps uh, or different number of steps than fixed step solver so whenever you design your real time system or discrete system or you add delay block to your model change this setting make it fixed step solver apply okay save your model and then it will run so that's all for this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and if you want videos on some specific topic whether it is matlab simulink or matlab features write it in comment section i'll try to come up with those video as soon as possible and please subscribe to my channel and thank you guys thank you for watching <music>